Hi, how's it going? In today's video, we're going to do a little bit of jumping around, um, but it is necessary. At the moment, come on. At the moment we have that, um, everything's all set up. Um, you see there was a kind of a white window that popped up and disappeared. That's what we're going to be working with. Vulcan is doing its thing and GLFW has made a window and it's doing its thing. What we need to do is abstract the GLFW window so that Vulcan can interact with it. This creates, on the Vulcan side, this creates what we call a surface, which is basically a target that we can render to. Now, surfaces are kind of dependent on the operating system and the so on and the so on. Um, for instance, to create a surface, we would need to uh, interface with a Windows 32 API or DLL. Um, and that's kind of what we can see here. So if we go right back up to the top, when we created the Vulkan um, instance, it was requesting this Kronos Windows 32 Surface extension. Um, so that's kind of what we're going to be using, more or less. Okay, enough talking. So here we are in the header, and we'll declare what we need. Um, this will be... I'm going to make this an instance-related variable, because I'm going to create the surface just after I create the instance. Then once we have the surface... We, oh, just a second make that a little bit bigger. Okay, once we have the surface, we can also present to the surface, in theory. So uh, we'll make a present queue as well. Okay, that's looking good. Now let's head over to the CPP file. Okay, so here we are in the instance code. So like I said, we're going to create the, um, the surface here. So what we'll do is we'll go uh, glfw create Windows surface. And ironically, ironically, it's uh, a Vulkan surface, right? So um, this is a glfw um, function, which creates a Vulkan surface, basically so that Vulkan can talk to glfw. Its arguments are our instance, we have here our window allocator will be none and it returns a surface now there's a bit of a difference here because the surface pointer that it, okay, the surface pointer that it acts on needs to be a um, a h style like a, an old c style thing so all we'll do is we'll go um, Create that and send its send a pointer to it. Okay, so we have this, and what this returns is it returns a, a VK result. So we are kind of using the old style for a little bit. So we want to check if this matches success. If it doesn't match success, then we want to print a debug message. And then if it succeeded, we also want to print something out. Cool. All right. So um, great. We've made a surface. We do need to destroy that abstraction. So if we pop down here, we see this is kind of like instance level functionality for our cleanups. So again, we'll put this here. We'll go um, instance destroy surface. And then we just need to pass in the surface and everything else here, the allocator by default is null. The dispatch loader by default is the static dispatch loader. So that is fine. Okay, good. 
Now, the other thing we had is we had this uh, present queue. So we're going to make a slightly more involved uh, function here. So we have uh, graphics family and present family are all set up. Okay, that's great. Now we'll go down to the queue families. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're looping through all the set of queue families. We're checking some things. Now before we were saying, hey, we're checking, you know, do we have, um, do we support graphics? And if we do, then we set everything all at once. Now let's change that a little bit. Okay, so we're checking things diff uh, individually. So we'll check if something can support graphics. We'll check if something can support presenting. Now, clearly we do need to take another argument here. So we call our device, tell it to check for surface support. We pass in a surface and we pass in the Q family index. Okay, so we'll just need to take which is perfectly fine, except oops, down below, some other functions need to be updated. Okay, so now, that's looking good. All right, so where were we? We have, um, set this up so that now the um, present and graphics family are being set individually. Most of the time, most of the time, the same device that can do graphics can also present to a Windows surface. That's not the normal case, but let's code it just this way, just in case that doesn't work. Why not? Okay. The next thing we do is when we create the logical device, we want to go ahead and create the surfaces. I'm uh, sorry, the um, Q families. Well, why not? So what we'll do is we will, we've got these indices, but then the indices may not match. So what we'll do is we'll go, um, we'll kind of dynamically build um, this set. So this pretty much is what it looks like. If both Q families, uh, if the, the Q family for presenting is the same as the Q family for graphics, then we've only got one thing here and only one Q needs to be created. Otherwise, two different ones will be created. Okay, fair enough. Now we will go ahead and create the Q info and then the Qs. We need to make this a little more dynamic. So we'll wrap this up in a vector. And we'll kind of push this on. So we'll say, um, Okay, good. So we're looping through and um, adding things on. Okay, great. So if they're both the same queue, then we only add, we only create one queue. If they're different queues, we create two queues. Fair enough. Down below, we need to kind of update, update this a little bit. So 
we have the create flags and we have the number of queues that we're creating. And to do this, we'll get the number of elements in the vector. And to get a pointer to it, we will just call the data function. That's looking great. Now, the last thing we need to do, we're almost there, is I'm going to modify this get queue function because I want to get both queues. I want to get the, um, the graphics and the present. So I'll say, um, again, wrap this up in a vector. Um, actually, so we kind of know how many elements we want here. We know there's going to be two elements there. So, okay. So up above, we went ahead and created the queues when we created the instance. And down here, what we're doing is we're querying the queues after they've been created. Potentially, if these are both the same um, number, we'd be getting the same queue, and that's perfectly fine. All our engine wants is a handle to the queue. Doesn't matter if it's pointing at the same queue. If it can do graphics and present, that's perfectly fine. Last of all, we need to jump back and see if there are any errors that need fixing, because we have modified our code a little bit. Okay, yep, that's what we can see here. So we need to also pass in our surface, okay, and what we'll do is we'll go um, change the value there. And then just read off the two, the two cues. And pretty much that's it. Let's test this. Oh, oh, that's not great. Ah, what a mistake to make. All right, let me run through this again. We have this all set up and we run, we get an exception. And it says access violation. Usually an access violation means that we're trying to read something that's null. This was done in get physical surface support, present support or something somewhere. And we can see this here. Okay, validation layer, unassigned general parameter error. Okay, required parameter surface specified as VK null. It's a little strange, but when we head over to engine, we notice something. We've created a C style surface, but we haven't actually initialized our surface. Now what this does is there's a copy constructor for a Vulkan surface, which takes like an old style surface and kind of casts it into the class and copies its data and, and stuff anyway. Run this and fingers crossed and it works. Awesome. Cool. So that is how we kind of abstract the existing GLFW window so that Vulkan can start talking to it. Step through it again. Um, today, what we did is we had, uh, we called this function on GLFW to abstract its surface into something that Vulkan could talk to. And we also updated our device selection code so that we could support um, graphics and present functions individual to each other. 99% of the time, the same device will do both. That's fine. The same queue will do both, but they might be separate. And so that's how we handle it. Anyway, hope you had fun and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.